Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper Platypus of the name. Welcome to another Dragon Quest Tact video, and this is a big one. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to be. Um, we're not going to dive into any of the new systems too hardcore in this video. I'm mostly going to do that on stream and in other specific guide videos. But I wanted to go through and do a basically overview of every single thing new in the new patch that just came out. Um, Arena came out. Rank ups came out, new daily login rewards came out. I don't know if there's a way to check the login rewards. I tried to record before I clicked it, but I had to set up the thing and it clicked through it. But basically we're getting like 50, um, let's take a look here. Two times the amount of rewards of obtainable on target stage. Let's see what this is really first. There's a campaign going on for, okay. There's even more going on. All right, look at all these road eights. So this is all battle road eights. And we got a uh, hard chapter one, episode one, chapter 16, episode one as well. Um, but what I wanted to check was, okay, so there's rank ups, super sad that it's not tomes, but they did just add a new rank up thing. Tomes are, uh, way too long gone. Let's take a look at our inventory really quick, just so we can see what the daily login reward was. I believe it was 50 of these right here. Slime spheres, ranking up slimes. So they seem to be different than slime pearls. This is probably the new rank up resource. Let's go ahead and take a look at our rank up. Let's say I wanted to look at a uh, slime heart here. Uh, hey, use rank up mats to rank up your characters. Yep. Get stat boost just for ranking up. Rank up one, all stats boosted by 25%. Yep. Get your party members to rank five and to equip them with armor. Yep. All right, so more tutorials. We've seen it. Been there, done that. So we can see S6. So you need these. New so, okay, so all units are going to be able to rank up right away. Besides maybe... Um, Maybe not literally all, but Slyonheart's going to be able to, which is going to be huge for me personally. Um, but, like, will Zoma be able to? We're going to need these, which are currently not gatherable, but we might get some in a couple days, which will be crazy. So, um, actually, my first thing I'm probably going to rank up then is going to be Slyonheart, right? We look at the details here. He'll be able to go up to level 110. Um, very, very excited for this. Very expensive. Holy goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Um, oh, dude, I can just straight up rank up these rank A's as well. You kind of want to do that once just to mess with it. I don't want to just do it willy-nilly because it is going to be pretty expensive, right? So I'm actually going to really have to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, I will start working on all the units, obby, obby, just not quite yet. So we are getting the rank up mats as our login rewards, and we're even going to get an iridescent orb. Um... Obviously, there's the arena button. Here's missions here, too. Which this is very interesting. Log in um, at 1600 PST or later. Uh, so that's 4 PM or later. I don't know. This, this is basically just saying, hey, you have 13 hours to claim this stuff. And this is 120 free stamina, but we've never seen this before. So they might start um, use with passport. Does that mean um, we have our battle pass or whatever does something else here? I don't know. I don't even see it here. Um, that is, that's interesting. I'm just going to accept it and I'm going to use it to farm story tonight. I don't want to risk losing it if I sleep in or something. Um, no new event stuff. Obvi, obvi. Let's go ahead and accept all this. Claim it. I don't even know. Um, some login rewards or something. Let's quickly see if there's anything new in the event. Probably not. Nothing new in the event. Um, oops, sorry. Wrong button. So battle roads, let's see what the battle roads give us first. I'm very interested. So all these are gonna have new. Oh, look at not all of them have new. There's no new for the inorganics. There's no new for several. And these are in a slightly different order now. Dragon was on bottom, but now dragon has its own, a new one. Okay. So battle road eight is going to give us a rank armor. Awesome. So dragon spell resistance is gonna go up. Um, we actually don't get to see exactly what this is gonna drop. Interesting. I don't know if you normally get to. Um, I wonder if we'll be able to farm this, but defense plus 12. That's like, you know, comparatively to the armor we are getting, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at, um, oh, actually, really important thing. We'll check in on the next one. It doesn't really matter, but I want to check one more. So there's going to be Battle Road 8s. Let's take a look at what the 14500. These are no joke. These are going to be way harder than what we're used to. Um, oh, look, and there's weights associated now. Look at that. We have 75 weight. That's awesome. Um, so if we take a look here, look at, we're able to get mini metals, more mini metals. Uh, very, very excited for that. Uh, demon stun resist plus 9%. Pretty cool. 
um, defense plus 16. So they seem to be like not amazing, but like still like pretty good because right now there's just a lot of poopy armor. So these are going to be way harder, but you're able to get mini metals. You know what that means? We're going to come here to the swap shop. We're going to come over to the mini metals and we're going to take a look. I currently have 70 and the next one is going to be a really weird. Uh, obviously, that's a text error here. We can now go up to 100. So there's 30 more mini metals in the game. Uh, we get a mithril helm, two iridescent orbs at 80. So that's the huge one. You want to get 10 as fast as you can, it looks like. Um, then we get a liquid metal shield and a dark crystal staff. The gold and the gems are cool, but they're not really like incredible. Blind resistance. Mithril helm sounds like it might be garbage. I guess it really depends on what you can get from the alchemy list here. Um, we'll see. Usually you just go for straight HP, but maybe there's a region where just having like zap resist is like really good. Zap martial resist is not really good. Um, spell resist 4%, that's pretty good. That's a straight up 4% less damage, right? Spell potency 4%, just straight up. Whoa. What is our, what can it draw? Additional spell potency. So this is just like a generic, amazing staff. That's pretty cool. Um, the two iridescent orbs are what I really want to get. There's got to be more ways to get mini metals. They're probably all in the story, right? They're probably a lot. Uh, because in order to get that dark crystal staff, it's going to be hard, but hopefully to get 10 more to go from 70 to 80, won't be too bad to get those two more iridescent orbs. All right. So I actually think I do want to check out the, um, the arena swap shop first. Let's make sure there's nothing else down here. There's so much new stuff. We haven't gone over the notices yet. All right. So for 2000, you can get one, um, Habersaurus. Oh, what's interesting is there's only 10 in here. I assume he needs more than that to fully awaken right he's probably a 40 to fully awaken i would assume you get one here um let's take a look at his abilities really quick dragon soul don't know what dragon soul is we'll look at perks volcanic flame potency he gets move plus one right away so that's pretty good we don't know what his stats are gonna look like i guess guess we can look at max that's level 110 so i'm not even gonna look at that because i don't know what 110 really looks like like comparatively to other units dragon physical potency 20 percent cool okay oh, okay he's he just passively starts to increase attack for two turns as well um and then at level 110 it looks like he's gonna get volcanic uh something potency two percent 195 percent physical potency physical damage to one enemy occasionally greatly lowers attack for three turns honestly for a a typeless just attack like at level one that's pretty good you might use that sometimes for sure um, oh, and he has Volcanic Flame. Rolling attack is just, we already know it's good if you have high attack. Deals major cis type breath damage to all enemies in area of effect. This actually could be insane for a Dragon Breath team, but also he just has good physical attacks. Um, what's his what's his attack going to be at? 426 sounds really, really high. Obviously, I'm not 100% sure what the new standard is going to be. So we'll be able to get the crystals. Liquid Metal Armor. I think this is going to be like insane, right? Just straight up physical resistance. Yeah. So more armor. We're not going to spoil all the armor by looking into it, but there's tons of good armor now. Good, 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 good. A bunch of bad armor as well. Not good, not good. Oh, Alchemy Stones. Okay, so this is going to be... Um, you're going to be able to just reroll S and S rank materials, right? Like you're just going to be able to go and uh, do that slime dunk. Oh, shit. Whoa. Are these the all the potency ones? Beast Bopper, Martial World, Demon. Are these all the ones that are just B ranks? They're, these are all the counters. These are really, really good. Holy crap. Um, I didn't expect these to be in here. Is there one for Riddle teams? There's not one for, for boss teams, is there? Let's take a look. Inorganics, obviously Beast, Nature, Dragon, Slimes. Slime Dunk, huh? Um, I don't think there's going to be a one to do to boss monsters. So they're going to have a um, a bit of an advantage on top of what they already have because they're going to be immune to those. Um, but obviously the S rank is really, really good. Getting at least one of all the armors is good. Um, sometimes the alchemies are good. And honestly, these scrolls are pretty good. You can get one a month. That's weird. Uh, I love the shop. Okay, so this guy, it says there's only 10 there total. Only one there total. And then the rest of these are an X amount per month. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm very happy with that shop. Let's take a look at the tack points. Anything new here? The Dragoir uh, SP Scout Voucher. Uh, Dread Dragon and Zoma. I'm going to spend my tack points on Zoma. Like, no offense to Dragoir, but... Uh, let's take it. You know what? Let's just go ahead and take a look at Dra Dragoir by the, really quick instead. This is going to be a long video. I don't know how... Like, we're still not even like through it. I'm going to pay for that. Don't worry. 
Um, this is the normal SP scout. Oh, and he comes with an E unicorn. We got Dragon Lord, Dread Dragon, just making sure I'm going to see them all regular SP. All right. So let's go details here. Jaguar. I don't know if this is level 110 or zero awakening. It's kind of weird. Uh, raises attack. Okay, so he has a passive beast power. Battle start raises attack for two turns. Leader perk, raise whoosh potency by 10% for everyone. I think that's actually worse than Metal Dragon, right? Doesn't Metal Dragon do 20% of all whoosh potency? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Feel moderate. Oh, he has swoosh. Okay. And that's pretty good. What's his wisdom? His attack's 352, and his wisdom is 205. So why does he have that? I don't know. Maybe it's just for stuff. Um, Stormclaw, 285% whoosh type physical. I mean, it's like good. It's like a it's like a crack crackle slash, right? But for this, deal major martial damage to all enemies in area of effect occasionally stuns. Interesting. So this it's that doesn't do uh, whoosh type, unfortunately, but it does occasionally stun. I don't know. I'm not sure how good this guy is. I would have to see him in uh, being super weak to the sleep is not super ideal because it's super easy to put him to sleep. Then unicorn has a heal, which is bad. Uh, remedy heal regeneration of one ally for three turns no idea how good that is um, I haven't seen that ability yet depends on how much the heal is and if it procs the turn you use it or if you have to wait a full turn for the next unit's turn so if you use it on a boreal serpent maybe it wouldn't be that bad because you cast it then he always goes first because he's so fast Zapple doesn't seem like a great A unit but it seems like there's definitely some potential there raises healing by 5% for everyone in a 5x5 five five area terrible leadership ability how many that means only he maybe one other is going to get benefit from it um, I'm not super in love. I'm definitely going to go for more Zomas. But let's go back here. Um, so we can go check out the story. Let's just check out the notices first, though. So we don't make sure we don't miss anything. This isn't even... There's even important notices. Uh, back of your data, get a thousand free gems. I've already done that. Notice on updates. Um, new player rank limit, so we can level up more, which is good, because I've been there for a long time. New story chapters, competitive multiplayer arena, arena-related missions added to the daily and feats tab. So daily uh, arena missions. I don't love that because it might be harder for... I guess you know, it doesn't really matter because you don't have to complete all your daily missions to get the rewards. Uh, but I'm interested to see what they give us there. Added missions that award stamina when you log in at certain times to the daily tab of the mission screen. Okay. New missions added to the feats. New items available for the 100 mini medals. Yes. Steel shield added to the gold shop. Oh, we should go check the gold shop. Weight stats added. Eight stages have been added to the following battle roads. You can now skip the ability upgrade animation. Oh, that's actually really nice. Party renaming feature. Party copying feature. Party loading feature. I don't know what party loading feature is. Um, maybe you copy and then paste. Maybe that means. Being able to rename parties is very, very nice. Uh, option to turn skills on or off in auto for each party member added to party members. This makes Nightclubber not as bad as you would think. He's still terrible. Revamped SP Scout stamps. What? Stamps may differ depending on the SP Scout. What? Um, the Scout stamp design has changed, but it does not affect the Scout stamp or the content progress. Oh, now the, the inventory cap from 999 to 9,999. That's fucking huge. Um, banner design adjusted for some quest. What I'm interested in is um, is revamped SP Scout stamps. Stamps may differ depending on the SP Scout. I am interested to know what that means. I'll go, Let's go look at that right after this. Drop rate improved for uh, irises and rank up quests. That's really good. It's normally like 3 to 5%. Purchase limits for skip tickets and swap shop change from two times per week to three times per week. That's a balance change. Okay. Sort of bug fixes. Social media button displayed. The launch screen. Cool. Uh, thank you. So that's a... I, I, You just read that list. That list is fucking insane. Anything else important? Um, sorry, 15% battery. We're not into it. All right. Did we already do this? I think I already did this. Because, I mean, I've definitely done it multiple times. Completing the mission, if you've already backed it up, go to the mission, tap menu, uh, tap data backup button, close the displayed screen. Okay. So let's go clear to the notices. So we have new story, we already know that, and we got a one-time guaranteed S rank. Um, probably not going to be Dragwar, but whatever, It's you got a 25%. We already looked at those units. Rank 6, ooh, here we go, aid set unlocked. What is this? During the campaign, we'll be selling a rank 6 release aid set, so they're obviously monetizing the one of the rank up the rank six quickly 
bonus iridescent orb consisting of an exp l60 exp medium times 80 and a bonus orb <clears throat> it'll be super helpful for those blah 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 you get one orb it's 2980 pay gems i don't even know if this is better than the normal one i guess it just lets you do it uh multiple times we'll take a look at the shop for that stuff as well um arena trading aid set okay it comes with another orb of course they're so they're selling lots of orbs right now 2980 because the 2980 is basically what it costs for an orb which is more it's, it's about a 10 pull for one orb i don't love that i wish they could have given us two um but it's like oh what's this skip ticket availability 10 gems one skip ticket okay sure let's keep going down here arena start arena tournament rules arena tournament schedule New story chapters. Look at all this shit, man. Holy crap. All right, let's start with arena start. As long as the arena... Long last arena is official, grand opening is here. The arena is Dragon Quest Tax first player versus player mode. First player versus player, mean they're willing to add more. Letting you pit your party against others. In the arena, you will wage war against other players' parties, earning points based on your performance, and aim for a top spot in the rankings. You can obtain arena medals as rewards for fighting in tournaments, climbing up the rankings, or moving on to higher reward brackets trade your arena medals at the arena metal swap shop for things like s rank uh that dude and the s rank slime armor um you get match points when you fell a foe fast to keep your own party members from going down climb the ranks to earn rewards tournaments um the arena has limited time term tournaments attempts you can attempt three times a day is restored every day at reset free battle mode lets you just play for fun your arena party once you select an opponent you'll then form up to 10 parties exclusively for arena use deploy the most effective party you can for your specific opponent really cool total weight limit um battle map stage effects right now it's minus 30 percent um as with adventure mode you'll control your party members as you try to defeat your party's members your opponent the game will automatically pick three opponents Shuffle, tap the shuffle button, win conditions, defeat all enemies in 10 or fewer turns, have more surviving members after 10 turns. Score, you get match points dependent on the opponent. Turn bonus, bonus points earned on how few turns it takes you, and survival bonus, bonus points by how many of your party members survived or to win. Note, this is determined based on how many party members are beaten out of the start you begin with to earn maximum survival bonus start a battle with four party members or less and have them all survive to earn the maximum survival bonus start a battle with four party members or less and have them all survive okay so if you're able to beat a team with four units instead of five you'll actually get more points and if they if they all survive it seems like that's very interesting uh then it wouldn't have expected that occurred match points your total number of match points you get Blah, 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 blah. During each tournament, your rank will go up in the order given based on your occurred match points. When your rank goes up, you'll earn corresponding rank up reward. Arena reset at the end of the tournament. Arena ranking. Ranking rewards have a limited window for claiming. Okay, so there will be some rewards. Then you get medals for those things. Here's tournament rules. Not too interested in that stuff right now. Like that's we'll we'll dive a bit more into that. So arena, obviously, the tournament schedule, that might be worth checking out really quick. Just to Arena one, all damage down 30% are gonna be both times. We're losing 15 weight on the second one that starts on May 2nd. Got it. That's not much of a schedule, but I mean it is I guess it's a one week now, one week then, you know. So it's a it's a little bit of stuff. Um new stories and content. New campaign underway. Arena official start decide. Okay, so this is the these are the last two new ones. Um, new story content celebration number two. All right, let's take a look at this really quick. It's a campaign. I don't know why this is considered. I guess it's because Jaguar shows up in the thing. We will get some herbs and stuff like that. That's nice. And um, finally, let's take a look at this last thing. And we still have a few things to actually look at, like. There's so much in this update. It's crazy. This is the biggest update that we're, I think we're ever going to get in this game. Um, we're continuing the story with new chapter 16 through 18. So 16, 17, 18. We're going to get a couple thousand gems from that very likely. Uh, and a lot more mini medals, which we need. Join Medini and the gang and catch up on the latest adventures. Da -da -da, chapters 1 through 2 hard are now available. And you, 
th these chapters feature new sphere material, which you'll need in order to upgrade characters to rank six, complete them to power up your party. Uh, story chapter one, episode one hard is unlocked after clearing story chapter 15, episode nine. Okay, we've already done that personally. Um, in the hard chapters of the story, you're only allowed each stage three times per day. Each attempt consumes stamina, but the number of attempts will not go down unless you clear the stage. Your number of attempts is restored every day. If you fail a stage or choose to abandon it, you will not earn no XP or gold for the enemies defeated. Note, you could use gems to refill your number of attempts a day up to three times a day. That's really annoying. I don't like that. That means whales are going to be able to do it way more. Um, I do like the way those orbs look, though. They're very cute. Um, character rank limit. We've raised the rank limit for your characters. Yay. All can go up plus 10 levels. Max out. Um, you get a perk. You'll need the new sphere material available on hard mode. The ranks to get your character to six. Story chapter three on hard difficulty will be released gradually. Okay, okay, okay. Player rank increases. Actually, this is interesting. Level 22, which is what? How much more stamina? I don't even know, but that, that won't be too hard. The battle road is going to be really difficult. New episodes and nine battle roads. That's going to be hard. It means we're going to have to rank that shit up. Like, all these units are going to have to be ranked six, probably, because this is going to be difficult. Really good stuff, though. And this is kind of going more into that. All right. So let's go ahead and click the arena button, finally. Play in matches against other players in the arena. You win. You want to get stuff. Okay, got it. Round one. There's only five days left for this. Oh, and there's the schedule right here, right? That's kind of nice. All right, so we click the arena. ranking all rewards let's take a look at all rewards here so if you're rank one you will get an extra 700 but if you're in the top 100 you'll get an extra 400 anyway promotion rewards you get lots of stuff just for promotion rewards um so what's the, what's the bottom of the echelon here you want to be you want to get the 50,000 to start getting that okay Oh, and I could just choose who to battle, huh? Immediately. Look at these are um these are gonna be tough. I won't lie. You know why? Actually, maybe not. Look at rank three, rank two. Oh, I guess they're supposed to be weak. Rank five, rank five. Like, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna do this yet. I'm gonna get my team ready in S6, and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna dominate. Don't worry about it. Um, it's weird that the 80 is actually considered harder. I think I could beat both these teams relatively easy, honestly. But I'd rather do it on stream, I think. Um well, maybe we just do one right now. Let's take a look. Victory promotion. Let's go. Uh, my team is actually right here. No, no, no. That's not my team. Okay, it didn't make my team. So we're going to go ahead and go here. Edit our team. This is the one of the teams I'm planning on using for arena right now. It's not done, but, you know, whatever. The fact that I'm going to be able to level up Slyneheart is actually going to be a huge boon to me, I think. Because he's a pretty killer. I don't want to lose, but you know what? No pain, no gain, buddy. Um, Actually, I don't even remember what my team was. Let's go self. Oh, no. I was talking to Lolly yet about it. Uh, Green Dragon. I'm sorry. I forgot Green Dragon. And probably not Lucifer, but... Uh... Zoma. Duh. Zoma. Now, I probably want Zoma just to be the max, just for Zoma to do more zoma in, right? So I think I confirmed these guys, but now let's get their equipment set up. It's actually pretty good. You need a big, fat sword. I actually think I want you to have the big axe that uh, Helion currently has. Because I really... You just want to do damage. Where the fuck is it? Helion, where, 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 where are you at, homie? I'm, I'm blind, honestly. Give me, give me one second here. This is still... This is Sleepy Platt, all right? I swear to God, it's not here. Sort by attack. It has to be here. There's no way that it wouldn't be, right? There it is. I don't, I don't know why I can't see shit. All right, that'll bring me up the 481 attack. That's good. We want you to have a probably the liquid metal slime sword. You don't need the most attack. Um, you have a beast though. You could use the beast hammer, the horde hammer. It does give you oh physical potency and physical brilliant. You know what? 
Let's just go for damage. I don't know how it's going to work. Are you weak to crack? Are you going to die to Zoma? Mm, maybe. We'll, we'll see how it works. I honestly just don't have an idea yet. Go ahead and equip that for you. Thank you. HP might just be better, but I'm not super convinced of that yet. Um, and I actually want you just to take your good old fire sword. I think it's slightly better than... um. Because you get a little bit of frizz potency and you get the same amount of HP as the dragon sword. And you... Go ahead, that's fine. Th this should be an, uh, an okay team. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a go, right? Don't know if I could do it. Are you sure want to download? Let's just, let's just go for it. If I lose my very first arena thing on this video, that's okay. It's a learning experience. And we're going for a hard fight. But our I think our team is more CP. I think our team is just overall, you know, more awakened than their team, which is can be a pretty big deal. What's our, our my phone's only at 6% battery. Give me one second. Let me plug it in. You'll be fighting Roto, and they look tough. Don't look them up. Boy, well, I wonder if I'm... I wonder if Roto is a real player, or if they're, um... Don't put on auto. Please. I wonder if Roto's a real player, or if it's just like a, they made it. It's like a dev team. Because you're going to be fighting other attackers... Because you're going to be fighting other attackers, I wonder if there are no attackers yet, so maybe Roto is just like a dev team. Or something like that. There we go. Phone charging. Let's get these headphones on to fully experience this. Ah. Alright. Turn order here. Boreal Serpent goes first. One, two, three, four. I think you're going to stand way back. Oh, look at the... Interesting. You could do shit like this. Actually, Boreal Serpent, can you just get in there and do one, two, three, four? You can't quite. Even with four movement, they kind of purposely do that. What are you weak against? Are you weak against um, Woosh and Zap? Are you resistant to Frizz, or can we try to kill you? You are resistant to Frizz. I kind of want to not get too in the face. This is, it's kind of a, it's, this is definitely going to be interesting. Our team isn't very good against Zoma, other than we might have just a more powerful Zoma, right? I do like our Zoma being there. I would like to maybe get Boreal Serpent up here. What it, maybe it's just good enough. Maybe we just go up there, because they have one guy that doesn't do shit for damage, at least. I want you up here. And Helion, I kind of want you up here, and I kind of want you up here. You know what, let's just, let's just give it a go. Let's put it on normal speed, or sorry, fast speed. Rolling attack. Okay. I mean, it's good. I won't lie. It's not an ideal first move for this guy, for sure. But I am a... Yeah, this is kind of what I thought. There's almost just going to be dead. Probably. I do want to just move up, I think. Can we just uh, glacial doom them to death? Yeah. Do it. I'm just going to move up. I feel like I, I, I just have an, a super offensive advantage right now. Like, yeah, even... Like, if they're wasting turns doing that kind of shit, like, that ain't nothing, honestly. I do have a Blast Slash on my uh, guy here. What are you going to do? Attack him? Please do. I guess we don't want any of our units to die, right? I'm not really too concerned with that, honestly. It just doesn't bug me. And now maybe it will as we go on, but this is literally my first arena match, right? Didn't wake up my Helion, unfortunately. Um, go ahead and just Psy Cannon this guy, I guess, right? Thunder. This guy just has insane HP. Helion being blocked is, like, super annoying. It's actually... This fight's going way worse than I thought it would, but... You know what? Inferno? Look at how much Inferno does here. This is at S5, by the way, not S6. It's already doing 240. And that's with a 30% damage decrease. Because of the arena effect. 
This guy, like, why even have this guy in your team? He doesn't do anything. I guess he's sweet breaths, but, like, there's probably better sweet breath users. Let's go ahead and uh, just finish this guy off. He might try to envenomate us, but he'll be dead next turn if he does. I'll go ahead and... Uh, you know what? We'll blast that. Slash him. The sleep has actually been pretty good. And they all missed our dude. I guess it didn't really matter at that point, but... I guess that, I mean, that woke him up. That's kind of nice. Right, let's go ahead and... Uh, he, gets to, he gets to do an attack. Oh, and of course, he's, this guy's strong against it, right? Whatever. We definitely didn't play this fight intelligently. I'll be honest with that. Or, like, just at all. Um, yeah, we'll Glacial Doom. Just finish that guy off. He seems to be the scariest threat. Alright, just smack him. I'm actually, I'm really excited for Slyneheart. Because they gave us some rank-up mats for Slyneheart, um, he's going to be able to do some work. Because normally, I don't think you can grind slimes, but you will be able to in this one situation because they just handed it to me, right? Zoma, can you frigid breath him to death? You can't. That's okay. We'll just uh, smash him here. Honestly, like a super easy fight. We didn't play it super well. The Boreal Serpent, we definitely weren't using intelligently. We only got him to hit one guy. You Typically, you want to wait and do a second turn move to go in and hit like three, four guys and try to maybe wipe them all out. But we did win against Roto. A turn bonus was not good, but the survival bonus was pretty good. Uh, we got... 108 points today. That seems pretty decent, right? Bronze three. Yay. 15 medals. I wonder if you got 15 medals just for winning. Yeah, I guess the I guess you get medals separately. I assumed you would have gotten 108 medals there, but that would have been too many, right? Um, and then you could take a look here. Okay, so mechanized marines, right? There's no one there's no way that this is a a real player, right? So we could take a look at other rank up awards, or we come here. Then we come here. What was it trying to show me? I don't know. It, it looks like it's trying to show me something. Maybe it's just like, hey, you'll rank up in the next 42 points, which would be cool. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Promotion rewards, maybe this is what I do. Get. Maybe I already got it. Um, then you get 5, 5, 5, 10, 10, 10. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to want to go really hard in Arena early on for sure. I don't see a way to accept the rewards. Again, we'll learn about this uh, as we go. I'll just go home for now. I've got a, a lot of story to beat and a lot of stuff to prepare. We're going to go hard in Arena tomorrow. Obviously, only two actual attempts uh, left. We'll do the best we can with those two attempts. But then we're just going to be playing for fun, right? Uh, we're going to be doing our three fights every single day. Um, but that is it for right now. A lot of wasted energy. <laughs> and I'm just not, not wasted Sam. I'm going to use them for bed. Uh, but we're going to, I'm going to start ranking up these units to get them ready to go. But I need to get, um, I need to get a few more mats still. I still need to get those iridescent orbs. I need two of them. I need to get 10 mini medals as soon as I can, I think, right? To get, uh, Slyonheart up. I would probably just level Slyonheart straight up to 110. He's my highest, like, awaken. And also, he's just, like, insanely good damage wise. And he could be pretty tanky as well. Anyway. I think we've covered pretty much everything in the new event. Like, um, maybe I didn't mention the story mode. If you go into the hard mode, um, you've only get three attempts per day. I think we read that at some point. Kind of interesting. You can see there's nothing really interesting here. But maybe if we go to enemy info, you can get Drake Slime. Like, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I mean, I already have him fully awakened, so it's not a big deal. But uh, these are pretty hard, actually. If you look at this, is 1,400. So that isn't easy. Um, you can see this is basically my arena team. I wonder who I would switch out. Would I switch out Royal Reptile for Slyonheart? Probably. Royal Reptile is good, but I think Slyonheart is just like way better overall. Um, probably, maybe even tankier too. Let's take a look. This guy has 744 HP. I mean, I think it might be close. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much. Per Platypus is per Platypus. If you're watching this, I'm asleep. Probably. If you're watching this right when it comes out. But, uh... Tomorrow morning for me, but basically uh, April 27th at around, I don't know, noon or something. I'm going to be doing um, maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see what time I wake up and how I'm feeling. Maybe closer to 9 or 10. 
um, in the morning. But I'm going to be streaming. We're going to be doing all the content we can. We're going to be just doing arena teams. You're going to give me fucking arena ideas. And we're just going to do it. Have a great time. There is so much stuff to do now that Arena's out. And there's so many cool, fun new things. I'm very, very excited. Anyway, until next time, for Platypus is for Platypus. And I will catch you guys around 35 minutes. Fuck, that was longer than I thought. But, you know, I, I kind of suspected it would be long. Peace out, friends. See ya in the stream.